Um, so I'm a teacher, one of the teachers in the Opal 3 classroom, and the tradition at Opal School is for the fifth grade graduates to present a gift to the Portland Children's Museum in gratitude for the, what the museum has offered them over the years. This year, the project took a new twist, thanks to a grant that we received from RAP, the Regional Arts and Culture Council. This grant made it possible for the fifth graders to work closely with visual artist Elizabeth Craig, myself, and, and the children ages 10 to 11 years. This is the unveiling of their work together. Following this event, this public art will be displayed in front of the museum um, outside uh, for the community to enjoy. Um, I'd like to introduce to you the representatives of this fifth grade class, Max, Olive, Isaac, and Sophie, and they'll tell you about their project. of others. We make connections and use the arts as ways of telling our ideas and stories. And we become great collaborators. We, just, we know each other's strengths and we play off of them. We build on each other's ideas. Sometimes two or three people will work on one drawing to keep discovering new perspectives. We began this project by writing letters to the Opal classrooms, including preschoolers. We asked about their ideas on cycles and patterns. They gave us some of their drawings and poems to consider. They inspired us. We used some of these ideas and added on to them. We took hikes and spent time just noticing all the patterns that showed up everywhere. We used our senses to listen to the sounds of nature, touch the bark or grass we could reach. We saw patterns in the clouds, on a leaf, in the dirt and smelled the fresh air of the upper meadow. After each hike, we'd return to the classroom to recreate images of what we'd experienced with our senses. We discovered that one image could become another. It seems that nature is very efficient, and it finds out that something works, it repeats it over and over in different life forms. For example, we discovered that an icicle became a point on a snowflake. A pine cone became the center of a flower. An acorn cap turned on its side became a butterfly's wing. And a fiddlehead fern became the pattern on a wing. A snow fossil became the center of a flower. We found out that even though we think a pattern in nature belongs to one familiar thing, it really belongs to many. Nature is full of connections. You have to expect that the beauty you find in one place, you will find again somewhere else. Here are some of the pattern images that we drew over weeks and months. Cycles of life 
to share its story. The seasons are one of the cycles that we know best. In spring, life is forming. In summer, it's time to live. By autumn, things slow down. Winter is a time of sleep and death. The seasons tell life what to do, a way for nature to communicate with itself. We decided to use the tree as a symbol of the seasons. We added the images we created on the seasons where they most belong. Our final challenge was to decide how everything would come together and how we wanted to arrange all the images. We created four large panels to represent the cycle of life through the seasons with words and images. Now we'd like to share with you our collective work. And if you will turn their energy over here, we're going to unveil the first image. from quiet reaching trees. Starry snowflakes tumble to the ground, landing on a blanket of snow, waiting for the awakening of spring. Spiderwebs. Dragon flies ruffle tips of flowers. Flesh fakes of spring. But wait, the world holds still as a single first leaf falls to welcome autumn. As the days are shorter, the nights longer, the world is preparing to close its eyes. Eye. 
very big thank you to Elizabeth Craig, visual artist and collaborator, who asked us challenging questions, gave us tools for the job, helped us see our own strengths, and nudged us to reach beyond our own expectations. Washington Park to spend time exploring and noticing nature. We hope the seasons will remind, will remind them of the cycles we all depend upon and that connect us to our world and each other.